Spring is always a busy season for home remodeling projects. This weekend, homeowners can tour 64 homes to get some ideas for how to handle their own remodeling wish list. It's all part of the Parade of Homes Remodelers Showcase. Here to tell us more about this and how we can uh, get the biggest bang for our buck, Sean Nelson. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. How do homeowners get the biggest bang for their buck when it comes to remodeling? Well, I think there's a few things people can do, and the most popular projects that we see people doing are kitchens, bathrooms, and basement finishes. Um, and when they do those projects, they really need to uh, keep in mind where they're investing the money. So some of the things, particularly in kitchens, that we see people do is they want to create more storage, they want to create more efficient uh, spaces for their family with seating in there, and then a lot of people open them up to other spaces. I know, my, I know my dad had just built a house in upstate New York, so far away from here, but I was telling him he also should be, and I could be wrong, tell me if I'm wrong, I was telling him that he should be thinking on when it's time to either sell the house, on what he puts in, what he decides to put into the house now. Yeah, a lot of our clients have that, and what it really depends is on the time horizon. So the sooner you're thinking you might be selling your house, the more important that decision is. Um, most of our clients are investing also in their lifestyle. So this is something like a kitchen or a, a basement you get to use every day, maybe multiple times a day. And so just the enjoyment of it alone right. provides a tremendous amount of value. And so if you can do something, get most of your money back out of it and use it for 10, 15 years and enjoy it, it's a great investment for people. And I know that you brought some photos to show with us to share some renovations. Talk us through these, what we're looking at right now. This is a uh, bas uh, bathroom project that we had done in uh, Savage. It's uh, number 55 in the Remodeler Showcase. And what they did is took out one of those big tub decks and added a oh, like soaking uh, soaking tub into it. That's the uh, kitchen area in there with a pantry. So it's behind the barn door. Nice walk-in pantry for storage. And in you're their saving kitchen. a lot of safe, uh, space with that door. Oh, it's extremely efficient. There's storage is huge. Again. Yes, this bathroom. Double vanities are big. Um, basement. The basement project ah, that we it. did up in Maple Grove, number R70 or R7. Uh, great bar area. Great for kids to be able to um, get a soda and a snack when they're hanging out with their friends. A lot of people want to create that house that is the hangout, the neighborhood hangout, so they know where their kids are because they're in the basement. Awesome. Sean, as always, thank you very much, Yeah, sir. thank you. For more of Sean's tips on getting the biggest bang for your buck, head to care11.com. Click on shows, then the news at 4.